I need weights. Hi. Bye. Hello. Today we will be doing a circuit of five exercises, although one of the exercises we will be doing each side, so it's kind of six. Anyway, the rounds will go by really quick. We are going to do five sets today. So we will see how this goes. I'm going to set my workout and I'm not going to show them to you guys first. I'm just going to do them. Um, so we'll go kind of slow the first round and then we'll pick it up as we go. And the fifth round will be our strongest. So ready, set, go. I am going to use weights. So if you don't have weights, please grab those. I am using, once again, my three pound weights. If you want something heavier, use your roller skates. If you don't want any weight at all, totally fine. I'm gonna give you a few little things to do to make these a little easier or to make them a little harder. So if you have ankle weights as well, you can grab those. That will make this a little bit more difficult. Before we get into this, we are going to just run in place for about a minute. I do have a timer going. Start. Okay, so we are going to just kind of run in place. I'm gonna hold my mic pack. Run in place for a minute, get our heart rate up jumping jacks, whatever you want to do. I would typically jump rope before I work out. That's my favorite. Whatever you do to warm up, make sure you're engaging your abs and your back, making sure everything's tight. You can dance. Dancing is a good warm up. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I feel pretty good. I'm going to grab my weights. I'm gonna pretty much use my weights for each exercise. You definitely don't have to. This first exercise, I'm going to point my toes out and I'm gonna go a little further to make it a little more difficult. If you wanna make it a little easier, you can get a little closer or you can have your feet pointing straight. I'm gonna go out. And then this one isn't going to be a generic squat. We're going to go down. And then whatever side you're going to, you're going to lift the opposite toe and you're not going to straighten the leg that you're on. Then the opposite. So that's one. We're going to do two. We're going to do 10. That was two. Three. I did this the other day and my inner thighs hurt I'm doing this right now. I think that was more, but I'm going to say that's four. Five. Does this one look funny too? Six. I was gonna wear really short shorts and then I thought about the exercises we were doing and I was like, hmm, better not. You can add a pump right here with the arms. I think I'm done, but I'm gonna show you guys a few more. Last one. And 10, good. Okay, second exercise. We are actually going to go down onto the floor. So a lot of the exercises, actually the remaining exercises are all going to be on the ground. So I've laid my mat out. We are going to, I'll go this way. We're going to go into a plank. However, to make this more difficult, I'm going to go pretty much into a half tricep push. Why am I out of breath already? So you can do this here. You can do this here. I'm going to challenge myself to go into this position. We're going to do each leg. So I'm gonna start with my right leg and we're gonna point the toe and keep your leg as straight as possible. It doesn't need to be super high. It can be wherever is comfortable. And then you're just going to lift about an inch or two, keeping the leg straight, keeping the hips square, and really, really making sure your leg is nice and tight. If it starts to feel like this, make sure you take a second and lock it in place. So let's lift for 10. I'm gonna go down into my half tricep. One, three, five, seven, nine, and 10. Another thing to remember on this Make sure your back isn't going Make sure you're actually using your booty. So make sure that leg is good. Half tricep and lift. Keep that foot pointed. Halfway there. Good. 
9, and 10. Good. Now, the next exercise I think looks super silly. It's very Jane Fonda-esque. I'm going to take this pack out of my pocket so I don't ruin it. Okay. So if my cable is hanging, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we're going to take our weights. If you don't have a set of two weights, you can use a bigger um, one dumbbell. Now we're going to go into that um, hip bridge. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, but I'm going to add my weights right here to the front of my hip bones so that I have an extra weight going on. Now this one, I want you to plant your feet firmly into the ground, your entire foot, and press up. And then we're going to come down, not all the way, press up again. So we'll do this for 10. One, two, three, squeeze up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. So you, pro you maybe <laughs> feel it right here because your feet are firmly pressing in. You're pushing into the ground using this and then at the top you're squeezing your butt. The next two exercises we are going to lift our toes. So we'll be in the same position. It may feel better to scoot your feet in a little bit more closer to your butt. And then we're gonna lift the toes. Now we're gonna go back into that bridge position. You can rest your head on the mat. I have bobby pins that are like digging into my head right now. So this wasn't the best hairstyle for this. Um, but in this position, you're going to put your arms at an angle, a 90 degree angle. And don't rest them on the ground so you are using your arms to hold these weights up. Press up, lift the toes up, and then press up. Kind of like you're doing a bench press, but you're gonna bring them in toward each other at the top. Keep that booty squeezed. Four, five, halfway there. Six, keep it up, lift a little higher. Nine, and 10. Okay, now I don't even want you to relax because you'll have to get into this position again. So if you have to go down a little bit, that's fine. While I talk through this, but we're going to lift up into the exact same position and then lift these overhead and then bend toward your head, tap the ground using your triceps, lift back up to a straight arm. So let's do this for 10. So get up into that position, squeeze your booty, Lift those toes, bend at the elbows. That's one. It's probably not the most attractive position I've ever been in on video. <laughs> Three. Four, that light always goes out during these workouts because I'm not moving. Five. I feel it. Six, five rounds of this is not gonna be easy. Sometimes these ones that you go slow hurt way more. This is eight, I think. Nine. And 10. Okay, you can relax. Okay, so what I was starting to say is sometimes these ones that we go through kind of slowly, they feel easier to begin with, um, but they burn and they hurt a lot. Going slow through your workout is not a bad thing, especially if you are using weights. It can be really good if you take your time and feel each muscle that you're working. Um, so yeah, that's just a note. If I go too fast, just pause, slow it down, figure out what you need to do. If I'm not going fast enough for you, go ahead. <laughs> you can speed it up. Okay, so let's grab this again. Start with our squats. So that's one round. That was nearly 10 minutes of me explaining that though. These ones will go a little faster. Okay, so grab your weights. <sighs> Toes out. Another thing you can do on this if you really wanna challenge yourself is go up on your toes. But then as you switch, you, you could shift as well. Oh, my inner thighs are not liking this. Okay, I'm going to do the arms this time like this. Okay, so. That's one. 
That's two. Really feel it in the inner thighs when you go down. Challenge yourself to go down even further. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last one. Ten. All right, good. Let's get down on the ground. This time I'll do it this way. All right, put those hands out. I'm gonna do my right foot again, down into the tricep, put a little bit of weight on those hands so you're really engaging your triceps. Straight leg, three, four, five, six, nine, and 10. Good job. Switch legs, dip, point that toe, and one, three, remember to breathe, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right. We're going to grab those weights again as soon as I get that out of my pocket. If the audio wasn't so good on this thing, I would not use it. It's annoying to have in my pocket and in my pants. Okay. Whew. All right, put those weights on your hips and feet firmly on the ground and lift up. Down, squeeze. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna stay in that position, scoot my feet a little closer, toes up. Actually, you know what? This time I'm gonna do it a little further. No, that doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> All right, toes up and lift. Two, three, lift a little higher, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn them and then dip at the elbows. One, two, three, four. I just got so hungry. <laughs> it's almost dinner time here. Six. Seven, eight, nine, lift up, last one, 10. All right, good. All these bobby pins. All right, that was only round two. All right, we got three more. Oh, breathe for a second, get some water if you need it. These like seem very easy, and then I always get up from like, after round three, we'll see how we're doing, but. I always get up and I'm like, oh, that was harder than I thought. <sighs> this cable for this microphone is always like right on my boob. All right, pick those weights up. I think this has shifted to not straight. All right, toes out. <sighs> Round three. One. Two. Three, I'm gonna put a little more weight on the side. Four. Five. Six. This one looks funny. Nine. Starting to shake a little bit. And 10, all right. Oh, I almost went to the next one. Just kidding, on all fours. 
I'm gonna put my hands a little bit closer together so it works my triceps even more. Right free leg up, point it, keep the hips square and lift. Three, six, oh my gosh, nine, and 10. Oh, switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Relax the shoulders. Eight, nine, and ten. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, grab those weights again. Put the mat in your hips. Rest the head down, breathe for a second, and ready, set, lift, two, really squeeze at the top right there, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten, all right, now, arms up, 90 degree angle, lift it, lift your toes, and squeeze, lift up, two, three, four, really squeeze your butt, five, six, seven, eight, lift up a little higher if you feel yourself sinking, nine, and ten, turn them, and bend the elbows back. Use your triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. <sighs> Two more rounds. Oh my gosh. I need to fix these bobby pins. They're digging into my skull. Ah. Ouch. Don't you hate that? If you ever have like bobby pins or a ponytail that's like perfectly in that spot where you're laying on it. Ah, it is what it is. You're going to get messy hair, Nicole, for these last two rounds. All right. <sighs> Toes out. And down, lift, one, two, try to put all the weight on that side, three, four, five, keep your back strong, even if you're not using weight. Okay, down on the ground. Yeah, this one sucks. <laughs> uh, I think I don't like this one because my triceps are kind of weak. Okay, <sighs> leg up. Make sure it's pointed, make sure the knee's straight. Drop down if you're using triceps and lift. Two, four, Six. Come on, we can do it. Eight. And ten. Straighten up, relax if you need to for a second. Lift that left leg. Drop down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Oh my goodness. Ah. ah. Okay. Whew. Only one more round after this. That's what you got to tell yourself. Okay. Grab those weights. Oh, okay. 
Oh, this feels so nice to just lay down. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Feet firmly planted and lift into your bridge. Squeeze your butt at the top. Drop down, not fully. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you really feel it pushing up and squeezing. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, good. Arms at that 90 degree angle. Lift your toes. Bridge up, and one, two, three. Make sure you really feel it in your arms. Five, six, lift up a little more. Nine, and 10, all right? Turn them up at the top and drop the arms down, one, two, three, four, squeeze up at the top, five, six, seven, it's burning, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> all right, okay, I'm jumping into the last round, let's do it. Shake it out a bit. Whip that hair. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Better than ever. <sighs> Ready and down. Shift to one side. One. <sighs> Two. Use your back. Three. Tighten. Four. Five, halfway. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. Okay. All fours. All right, if I can get past this one. The other ones are easier. This one's the hardest for me. <sighs> All right, hands firmly down in the ground. Find where it's comfortable for your knee. First leg up, square off your hips. Drop down if you're doing triceps. One, two, point that toe. Six. Release your shoulders. Switch feet. Whew. Ready, and one, two, three. Make sure that toe is pointed. Five, eight, nine, and 10. Oh my goodness, why is that so hard for me? Ah. All right, get this out of my pocket for the last time. <sighs> All right, grab those weights if you're using them. <sighs> Relax for a second. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Literally relax for a second and then move on. All right, <sighs> feet are firmly planted and lift, squeeze, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I can feel the front of my hips shaking and I get to the top. I'm gonna lift my toes, put my arms in that 90 degree angle, lift into that bridge, and squeeze the arms together. Two, three, four, Five. Make sure you're really pushing up. Eight, nine, and 10. Turn them, lift your bridge a little higher, 
and drop one, two, three, make sure you're lifting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and you're done. Good job. That was almost 30 minutes of straight working out, minus my talking here and there. I hope you guys saw my struggles on that because I hate watching workouts and the instructors are like, oh, this is a breeze, no problem. What? These ones are fairly easy, but when you really do take your time and squeeze everything and isolate, it's exhausting. All right, good job. See you next week.